Hello everybody, it's Walkie Duck, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download the Pokemon mod for Minecraft 1.20 in Pocket Edition. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually close out of Minecraft, and we're going to be downloading this other app. It's called the MCPE Add-ons app, and it's available for both Apple and Android devices. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the popular, or trending mod section anyways, um, and it's on the far right, and we're going to scroll down until we can find the Pokemon mod. Uh, so as you can see here, we are still just looking forward. So we have the Pokemon add-on, uh, and that's what we're gonna be looking at. So we're gonna click on this one, and then it's gonna show a, a short little ad here, but then we can just click the X at the top, and it's gonna show the Pokemon add-on. So as you can see here, we have several Pokemon characters that are going to be getting added to the game. Uh, so anyways, next we can click this download button and click where it says free download. And then we can click on where it says the X, and it will say reward granted. And then it's gonna go ahead and actually download the Pokemon add-on for us. And it will take a few seconds for it to actually um, go ahead and completely download. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click where it says open right here in blue. And this may look a little bit different for you Android users, but uh, if you're on an Apple device, you wanna scroll until you see where it says Minecraft and click on that. And we're gonna actually go ahead and open up Minecraft Pocket Edition here. And it's gonna go ahead and load up the game for us with the Pokemon add-on. So as you can see, it's gonna say import started. All right, and then it's gonna say successfully imported the Pokemon uh, pack. So there we go. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings section. All right. And then um, once you're here at the settings, you wanna scroll down under the global resources. And under my packs, um, you should see the Pokemon pack. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to um, go ahead and activate them. So we're gonna activate this first one here. It's 9.5 megabytes, so it's a little bit more than the other one. Um, but as you can see, we have uh, two different packs active here. And I think we can actually activate both of these. So there we go, we now have both of them activated. Um, so anyways, now we can click the back button um, under the resource pack section. We're just gonna go ahead and actually load up the resource packs for us. And there we go, so here we are at the home page. Um, and as you can see, it already looks a little bit different, but we can click on where it says play. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a new world uh, for this particular add-on. So we can click create new world. And then um, under the new world, what we're gonna do is just make it creative. And you wanna scroll down under the resource pack section and um, it's gonna say active. And under the owned section, we want to activate both of the Pokemon packs. So now, under the active section, we have two packs activated. We can do the same thing under the behavior pack, so we can activate both of them under the behavior packs. And the other thing that you want to do is you want to go to experiments, and um, you just want to go ahead and basically enable all of these. So you want to turn on experiments anyway, we're just going to turn each of these on. Um, and that way it will show the mod support. So there we go. Um, for cheats, you also want to activate cheats. Um, there we go. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Now we can click on where it says create and it's gonna actually create uh, the new world for us. Alright, so here we are in game. Now, as you can see, um, we already can see that the mod is kind of installed because we have some interesting looking characters over here. These are characters, I guess, from um, actual Pokemon itself. And, um, you know, if we go into our creative inventory, you can even, uh, you can even, like, place new mobs and stuff. So, right here, we have, like, the Pokemon mod. Uh, so, like, we have this one we can put into our inventory right here. And, you know, we can spawn some new Pokemon characters. And that's pretty much all you have to do in order to download and install the Pokemon add-on. So now you can actually play uh, Minecraft with a Pokemon-like experience. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that you were able to successfully download the mod. Thank you for watching and have a great day.